Now, the other thing I've noticed is that all these little link stations have got COVID-19 messages on them for everybody. Stay informed if you have mild symptoms, stay home and isolate. Only go to the emergency room if you're severely ill or involved in a simulation for the New York Times. <laughs> I should say that uh, Dr. Smith vehemently denies that this is a simulation. Oh yeah, this is what it's gonna say. So I was watching the videos from this Event 201, which was a pandemic simulation put on by the Johns Hopkins University and funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh -huh. in October of 2019. And at the conclusion of it, one of the primary conclusions was that they needed more realistic simulations to be prepared for a viral pandemic. Right. So somebody sent to me, a friend of mine here in the city, sent me a video yesterday where Mike Pompeo makes an apparent slip of the tongue saying that we are in a live exercise. And huh. Dr. Bricks kind of bristles when he says that. And Trump quite clearly says, you should have told us. So what the hell does that mean, Charles? That's really weird. It That's is true. really weird. Yeah. I mean, is this a simulation, a resilience test? David Hawkins has told us in many episodes of Discovery CSI that the company Circo offers, and you can see it on their webpage, one of the services they offer is resilience testing that uh -huh. involves involving government networks, television networks. You could probably make a run for it. Uh, yeah. It basically involves the simulation of a crisis to test the police readiness, the, uh, boy, that guy looked real sketchy. What? That guy looks super sketchy. Right. They're testing everything, the news, the police, the government. So, you know, the other thing is there's this patent from a guy named Jerome Lemelson that's intended to turn an exercise into a live fire incident wow. and that it can do it on the fly. So, you know, part of the confusion comes in, we hear about things like 9-11 and Sandy Hook, and there always seem to be these, uh, you know, tests and drills and all kinds of things going on simultaneous that are real coincidental. I think even when we had the shooting in Christchurch, New Zealand, there was some sort of training going on just prior to the Las Vegas shooting. There was some kind of training incident going on. So, I don't know, they seem to mix these training incidents with live events. And it's difficult to understand what that's all about. Yes. The NYPD traffic. They're everywhere, but the regular cops aren't so much. What is Memo 618? Do you know anything about that? I don't. Neither do I. So, you can see this area is uh, it's not exactly the first place I'd want to live, but 